Today in this video we will learn about maximum number of cycles where we will cover its definition with an example. If you guys haven't seen the previous video about C rate, go check it out. The link appears up here and see even in the description below. The maximum number of cycles depend on the type of lithium battery. The number of cycles could be anywhere from 200 to 3000 or more. The most common rating system is a number of cycles. Before a cell reaches 80% of its original rated capacity, at this stage, many manufacturers consider the cell to have reached the end of its useful life. While some manufacturers give a rating of charge cycle until 70% of its capacity is remaining. Regardless, when a cell reaches 80% or 70% of its original rated capacity, it isn't necessarily dead. It just isn't going to perform well as used to do earlier. Not only having less capacity, but it will also have a large voltage sag or drop in the voltage under load, resulting in less power and even shorter work life of the battery. This is why cycle ratings are difficult for comparison. There are many other ratings and specifications for most cells, from dimensions to temperature rating. However, the rating list in our previous video about capacity, discharge and charge rating and cycle life are generally the most important parameters for choosing a battery cell for most projects and also help in comparison between cells. If you find this video helpful, do hit the like button. To learn more about EVs, go subscribe to my YouTube channel where I'll be posting videos consistently. Check out the website given in the description where you can upload blogs, resolve your queries, can also watch our previous videos with a clear and detailed explanation. There's a community page completely dedicated for EV enthusiasts around the globe. In the upcoming video, we shall learn about how to increase the voltage using series connection. Thank you for watching. Happy learning.